And uh, the top four cities on that list are uh, Chicago, Miami, uh, Philadelphia, and Atlanta. Philly. So, yeah, Philly. Even though the people from Philly don't want to move to Philly. Well, you know, I don't. But, <laughs> but anyway, that's a whole other question. Well, you know what? It's, it's, it's the people. Yeah, it's no, the but see, but we need, Philly, see, but we need, but we need the to talk. People. But we need to talk about that because Please. 20 years ago, people from Brooklyn didn't want to meet, live in Brooklyn. Really? 20 years ago, if you came to Brooklyn 20 years ago, but the people that you spoke to from Brooklyn, they wanted to go to L.A. or they wanted to go out, they didn't want to stay in Brooklyn because for them, Brooklyn meant the hood. But then Brooklyn changed quite significantly. Hmm. And now the people who didn't want to live in Brooklyn 20 years ago are complaining about how they can't afford to live in Brooklyn. Now, you could afford to live in Brooklyn. You could have afforded to live in Brooklyn 20 years ago, but you didn't want to live in Brooklyn. <laughs> well. Because you were complaining about the crime and the this and the that. And, but now other people found value in it. They came. They flipped it over. And now Brooklyn is all amazing. It's one of the most expensive places to live in the whole country. Yeah. But true. now the people who could have afforded it 20 years ago, they can't live here. So now, wow. you know, having, having, knowing a lot of people that have suffered that, I'm trying to figure out, well, particularly for artists, because, you know, like the sister Nahara that was just here. Yeah. Like I know a lot of working actors and actresses and thespians and poets and musicians who are traveling all the time, but when they come back home, they're paying rent at home. Right. Or they're living with friends or they're living with their parents. I'm like, you know, you almost 50 years old and you're living with your mama. That's not, and yeah. you're a working actor or yeah. actress, but, you know, you can't afford to pay $4,000 a month in True. Bushwick. True. Which places can these people go, since Brooklyn's already wrapped up, since L.A., in a sense, is kind of already wrapped up, mm. where a person can come, go who's maybe making 50000 maybe making $100,000, buy a home, mm. and actually live and actually work in that city, too. So, you know, uh, Chicago is definitely one of the top cities in America in terms of media. It's so cold. <sighs> so you're trying to pay rent, you want to you wanna own something. I'm giving you a hard time. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> You know, I'm glad you raised that because I talked to <laughs> folks. I do it all I'm time. like, you know, you should move here. Well, it's too much crime. We should move here. Well, it's too cold. We should move. I don't like those type of people. <laughs> I'm just saying. Do you know that any neighborhood where there's value, where there's value, there's going to be an issue? True. Because 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 if, if Chicago was California, I would be there. But we couldn't afford it. It's true. Uh, okay, so you you practical. You have to be practical, though, <laughs> because if, be you, practical. if you think about it, even if you don't have children, even if, you know, because I, I don't have any kids, but, but my pops bought in Park Slope, in Park Slope, Brooklyn, which is now $4 million for a place to buy. Yeah. Park Slope, Brooklyn, 30, 40 years ago, was the hood, the straight hood. And he bought there for a couple of dollars, and then going to see had the vision to do that because it afforded his family to do certain things. So even if you don't have to live in Chicago to buy in Chicago, you True. can only live in Chicago during the warm months. You can stay in Chicago from April to October. And then Chicago to Atlanta. Yes. So I was looking on, just, just to throw some numbers out there so, so folks don't think I'm freestyling because, you know, I, I do this. <laughs> Often. Just saying. For a living. So I was looking on, I, was looking on, uh, I got an uh, email from my broker today in Chicago. She sent me a two-bedroom, two-bath apartment condo across the street from Jackson Park. Jackson Park, for those who... Jackson Park is in the south side of Chicago. Jackson Park probably has about three marinas where people park their yachts. It's a beautiful, beautiful park. Wow. It's right off of the lake. And this apartment was 1,000 square feet, two bedrooms, two baths, on the market for $50,000. Okay. So what does $50,000 mean? I don't know, because I ain't I'm, got I'm, I'm, about to, I'm about to break it. I'm about to go there. Okay, okay so $50,000 means that if you were to take out a mortgage for $50,000, Let's say you did an FHA loan, or let's say you did 10% down. I'm, I'm, I'm about to explain. Okay. FHA loan is a Fair Housing Administration, and basically under that program, you could put down 3.5%. Okay. So if you're using that program to buy this particular condo, you could buy it with less than $2,000 down. Okay. Let's say they don't take FHA. Let's say it only, it's 10% down. That means you can get $5,000. If you can get $5,000 together, borrow from, from auntie or uncle or whoever, then you can... Um, put that down as your deposit, and then you take a mortgage out on the rest of it. The mortgage on $50,000 a year for 30 years winds up being about $220 a month. A month. Really? $220 a month. So now wow. this, this building has common charges. Because if you buy a condo, a condo has common charges or HOA fees, right? Okay. So this building, I think the HOA fees are about $500. So for two bedrooms, 
two bath balcony across the street from the park and you can look at the lake and you have a parking space in this part of Chicago, which I think is pretty sweet, you, your monthly would be about $800. That's less than New York. I know people living in Bushwick. I keep going back to Bushwick, but Bushwick is, is deep. So I know people living in Bushwick who are sharing with two or three other people in an apartment. Still have to and they're pay paying $1,000 yeah, to sleep on a couch. Well, not everybody, but still. I know, I know people but who. But yeah. But at least a room. Yeah, at least. So you can live in Bushwick and sleep on the couch or sleep in the room and share the bathroom with a whole bunch of other people. Or you can live in the south side of Chicago and have a thousand square feet, two bedrooms, two baths, a parking space, and I have to get up and do alternate side of street parking or whatever wow. and be paying about $800 a month. Now, but why is it $50,000? It's $50,000 because it's crime, right? right? But this part of Chicago actually doesn't suffer as much crime as people imagine. Because I'm, I'm from Brooklyn, and of course, you know, I used to, when I was a poet, I used to travel around the world, right. and people was, and when I used to travel back in the day, and I say I was from Brooklyn, this is the 90s, people go, oh, Brooklyn, Ooh, Brooklyn. like it meant something. <laughs> now they go, Brooklyn, that's the show where they shoot girls, that's where they shoot girls, right? And <laughs> all the stuff that's on yeah. HBO, it doesn't mean anything. Yeah. But, um, but back in the day, you could buy cheap in Brooklyn because Brooklyn had issues. Some mm. of the issues were real, but some of the issues were imagined. Now, Chicago has some real issues in terms of crime. But a lot of that, some of that crime is uh, spread out all over Chicago. But some of that crime is centralized. So, mm. you know, I'm telling you right now that there are European investors from, from all over Europe that are going to the south side of Chicago to buy up the south side of Chicago. Really? I've met them. Wow. So the same way that there were European investors, and I'm not mad at... Coming to you, Brooklyn. Yeah, I'm not mad. Asian investor, African investor, European investor, people want to invest, I'm not mad. I'm not being political here, but I'm just saying there are people from around the globe that are looking to neighborhoods that are urban or so-called hood, and they're investing millions of dollars in these neighborhoods, and when these neighborhoods flip, then regular people are not gonna be able to afford to buy in these neighborhoods. Mm. 